Hey guys, Bert Kammerer here. Today we're going to talk about binding phrases. Binding phrases are basically a, an easy way to create a uh, easy bind for your Express LRS receiver, whether it is the built-in receiver that's in the Fly Dragon or the external receiver like the RP3H that you plug into your Nexus. You don't have to do this. You can do the easy bind, which is um, plugging and unplugging the RP3H very quickly three times and then going to the Express um, LRS uh, Lua in your radio and then binding that way or hitting the button three times on the Fly Dragon. But this is just an easier way in the sense that you always want to update your receiver with the latest firmware. And while you're pushing that firmware to the receiver, you're also pushing a binding phrase. So I'm going to let Alex explain how to do this because you also have to do it on your radio. So let's hear from Alex. Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to flash Express LRS with a bind phrase instead of going through the bind process where you're either uh, tapping the button in here on the Fly Dragon or on the Nexus where you're kind of tapping the power three times to try to get it into bind mode. Uh, basically, a bind phrase is uh, a password. And so you need to make sure that you remember your password and when you upload uh, that password to this device and uh, your radio, which in my case is the TX-16, uh, they will automatically connect to each other every single time without you having to tell it to go bind. So with that, I'm going to start with the radio for you guys. So you're going to want to take your radio, plug it into the top, and instead of going to storage mode, you want to go into serial. So serial mode at the bottom, your radio will basically look like it's acting as normal. Open the Express LRS configurator. I need you to be sure that you have nothing else that's open that is using a USB port. That means do not have the rotor flight configurator open. You'll get errors, it won't work, and you're going to be very frustrated. So at this point, you just type in the radio that you have. I have a Radio Master 2.4 gigahertz, and you can literally type in the TX-16. And here are all the settings for it. You're going to use Edge TX pass-through, the regulatory domain 2400, Type in your bind phrase, make sure that it is unique. Don't make it helicopter or airplane where you go to the field and your buddy's done the same thing and y'all are having uh, crosstalk going on. Make it unique. Uh, and then here's the rest of the settings. I have the Wi-Fi on uh, and you are it inverted. So with that, you need to select the port. If you use this Bluetooth incoming thing, it won't work. Click on it, open it up, select the Edge TX, um, open TX there. Uh, you don't need to erase or force flash, just hit flash. I've noticed that while I'm recording video, that for some reason, this build page is not filling out. So you should be seeing on this page, uh, basically code uh, and some progress uh, going down the screen. If you're not, and you're getting the same thing I'm getting, sit tight, just wait, it's going to work uh, and it will show up for you. So this will take a while. I'm not going to show you how long this takes. Probably I'm going to edit this out, but I'm going to sit here and wait for this to happen. If you notice on your transmitter, oh, well, this is done, so I won't tell you about that right now. So we're done here. You can click go back. And now you can take your receiver. If this is a Nexus and you have that uh, external receiver, the RPH, I don't remember what it's called right now. Uh, you can use that too, but you basically plug this in here. The lights will start to come on. And then we're gonna open our express configurator again. Remember, don't have anything else open because then it uh, won't work. No rotor flight, close rotor flight. All right, with that, I'm gonna search for the Fly Dragon because that's what I have. And I have the Fly Dragon 2.4 here. Beta flight pass through. The same domain here, lock on first connection and type in your bind phrase. So if you made your bind phrase something crazy that you're not going to remember, then you may you need to write it down. Uh, take a picture with it on your phone or something like that. So then we're going to select the correct port for a rotor flight. Again, you don't have to do a race before flash or force flash. Flash, just flash it. And again, you should see some building. So 
Uh, I'm having the same thing happen when I'm trying to record. If you get this build error, that means you've got something else that's trying to like access it at the same time. So you need to close other programs and things like that. That's been my experience. Okay. Uh, and then I also got uh, like an error for that. So if you have that problem, you've just got something else going on. Okay. So mine has... Uh, I've got another one here that's been flashed using that exact same procedure. So I'm plugging in it again just to give it power. You'll see it come on. And then you'll notice on your radio, the bars light up for signal. So this is connected and ready to go. And now you should be able to open up rotor flight and see that it's connected. I'll show you how to do that. So make sure that you close the ELRS configurator at that point, And you can open up rotor flight. All right. So one thing that Alex didn't mention is the fact that um, you can also do binding, not to your transmitter, but to your receivers. Again, FlyDragon or RP3H for your Nexus via Wi-Fi. Now, the FlyDragon you can plug in because the receiver is built in. You can do it with the pass-through method by connecting your USB cord, your USB-C cable to your computer. But with the RP3H, you cannot do it that way. You have to do it with the Wi-Fi method unless you have a special dongle. So I'm going to show you how to do this with Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do here is we have our Nexus right here. We're going to plug it into the computer. And the Nexus is the RP3H is going to power up, of course. And then it's going to take, I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, I think 60 seconds. Um, you can change those settings, but it's going to take a while before this becomes an actual Wi-Fi device. So, um, while we're doing that, we're going to go in here into the uh, Express LRS configurator and we're going to pick um, the latest version um, and then we're going to go for uh, device category is Radio Master 2.4 gigahertz and then the device is RP3 dash H diversity receiver um, and then instead of doing the beta flight pass through we cannot with the rp3h because again this is th this there's no way to connect this without a dongle so we're going to go to wi-fi and then down here i don't think alex explained this well but the reason why we want ism is because this is for usa and the rest of the world the lbt is for europe um, because they have very strict um, regulations when it comes to the maximum uh, transmission uh, rate so the maximum power is 100 milliwatts so it's really really low um, still works for them but I'd rather go with this um, so you enter the binding phrase again don't use something simple use something that probably is very easy for you to remember but very difficult for others to uh, to guess and then your your home Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi name and your location and your password and then this is gonna be the IP address that you're gonna access when we're done with this. So here's how we do this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build this file. And after this file is built, we're gonna get this dialog right here. And I'm gonna save this firmware.bin.gz file to my downloads folder. Um, and it already actually downloaded it somewhere else. But what I'm going to do is just because I like to work in a clean, clean mat matter manner, mm -hmm. I'm going to copy it to my downloads folder. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my computer and I'm going to switch my Wi-Fi from my regular Wi-Fi. I'm going to see Express LRS RX. Sorry, my bad. And then that means I'm connected to the actual RP3H as if it's its own Wi-Fi. So once I'm connected to it, I go to here and I go to update, and then I'm gonna find that file that we just downloaded into the, um, and sometimes this doesn't work, so I wanted to bring that up. Sometimes this join network dialog situation that Express LRS brings up for the Wi-Fi does not work. So what I do in that case is I just use like um, a browser, like say I'm gonna use Safari, right? So let's get rid of this thing. We'll use Safari instead. 
and then we're going to type in the IP address field up top 10.0.0.1 and that takes us to that's going to take us and log us into the actual device the RP3H receiver and we're going to go to update and we're going to now select that file now as you can see I have the ability to select that firmware that bin that GZ file I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to hit update and as you can see it's uploading let me see if I can move the screen a little bit and it's flashing and boom update successful so that's really all you have to do to bind your receiver once your receiver is flashed and has the binding phrase and your transmitter has been flashed with the binding phrase then every time you get a new receiver you just flash it with the binding phrase you power it on and it's going to connect to your transmitter automatically. So I hope you enjoy this video.